So I was just chilling, and I happened to stumble upon this trailer of Jenna Ortega's new movie. And after I got done with the trailer, I probably looked at my ceiling in disbelief for probably seven seconds, and then said, what the fuck did I just watch? So this movie is about Cairo Sweet, who was played by Jenna Ortega, and she just turned 18, and she's exploring the idea of what it means to be an adult. Cairo, I'm guessing she's in college now, and she's a talented writer. Seems like a normal movie so far, but just wait, it gets weird with her teacher, Mr. Miller, who was played by Martin Freeman. Mr. Miller gives her a special assignment, and Cairo starts to think that there might be a little more to their relationship. There was also this part that Cairo walks in the woods by herself, and Mr. Miller asks her if she's scared to walk in the woods by herself, and Cairo responds that she is the scariest thing in there. Yeah, that's just Cap. If you are in the woods by yourself and you have two choices, one way is a grizzly bear, seven foot tall, 700 pounds, and would rip you into pieces. And the other way is a 5'1", 103 pound Jenna Ortega. Damn, that's a tough decision. Anyways, things start to pick up between Cairo and Mr. Miller. The other teachers start asking Mr. Miller if he thinks Cairo is pretty, which is just a weird question to ask a teacher about his student. I hope that is taken out of context and it's just for the trailer to add suspense. Because why would another teacher be asking if he thinks a student is pretty? Bro, this is straight up taking a page out of Brazzer's script. Like, this is straight shit that you would see on the hub. Next, we're about to see Johnny Sins come in as a cameo and be like how those celebrities would be introduced on Disney Channel. He's about to walk in and be like, yeah, I've been there before. This movie is about to be a porn video, minus all the parts that people only watch and add more of the parts that people usually skip. Cairo ends up turning a paper to Mr. Miller and he says that it is very inappropriate. And I'll guess that it's about, it's, it's about her confessing her love for him. They have this intense scene where they're going back and forth and Mr. Miller looks like he's trying his hardest not to make out with her because their faces are super close together and this man is fighting for his life. I know more than half of you motherfuckers. If Jenna Ortega's looking at you like this, I know you are folding. Hell, if Jenna Ortega was looking at me like this and there was a burning building with a whole bunch of puppies and I was the only one that could save him, Shit, they can wait. They'll, they'll be alright. I think even the puppies would understand. Are you kidding me? Jenna Ortega looking at me like that? I'm saying goodbye to my job. Don't worry, Cairo, the character, is 18, so I'm not breaking any laws. I'll lose my job because teachers can't have relationships with students, but at least I'm not pulling a Josh Kitty or EDP. Cairo's friend seems like she's hyping up Cairo to go for Mr. Miller. She tells her that Mr. Miller sees everything in gray, and she is the first thing that he saw in color, which is a wild thing to say about a teacher. It is not just a simple, he likes you. She said all that, which means it is that deep apparently. There is this shot of Mr. Miller crying. I don't know what he would be crying. Maybe it takes all of his might to resist Jenna Ortega, which is understandable, but you are really shedding over a tear of this? Come on, bro, you gotta get it together. There's also this really intense music that plays at the end of the trailer, which I just think it's funny because we're talking about a student sleeping with a teacher. We don't need this super intense music playing in the background. The trailer ends with Mr. Miller concerned that Cairo could convince that something actually happened between them, which by the words that he is using of him only saying convinced, I think that shows that they don't actually do anything and the movie is just gonna be about Cairo trying to lie to the board that something did actually happen between them. Why she would do that, I have no idea. I guess we'll just have to watch the movie to find out. This looks like it's going to be an odd movie. It's going to be a high budget Brazzer script movie without any of the sex scenes. It's like a real life version of The Hub. Jenna Ortega, hey, go get your bag. I'm sure she's getting paid a lot of money to be in this, so I wouldn't even ask why she would sign up for this. Will I watch this movie? I have no idea. If it's super popular, I might just watch it to make a video on it, but it, would I watch it just because I want to? Probably not. I know there are a lot of people that like odd movies. It's not really my style, but if you like it, I mean, it's fine. I feel like this movie is going to be big with girls. I don't think this is going to go crazy with the male audience, besides that Jenna Ortega is going to be in it. A plus is that this movie doesn't seem woke. I didn't see any political messages. It just seems like it's supposed to be a movie to just enjoy and not spread any message of all the woke politics. 
If I had to put money on it, I would say that this movie will do pretty good. I don't think it's going to be like the biggest movie of the year, but I think it will make a good amount of money. There isn't any like crazy CGI, so the budget probably won't be anything. By the trailer, it looks like it's going to be a good odd movie for those people that like odd movies. I still can't believe that Jenna Ortega is in these dark movies or shows. I still remember her from Stuck in the Middle on Disney Channel. Like I can never get it out of my head. That's, that's where she started. That was such a light-hearted kid show, and now she's just in a movie about sleeping with her teacher. It is the complete opposite of where she came from, and it's just because she grew up. I gotta chill out. I feel like I'm glazing her a little too much in this video, to be honest. Let me know if you guys are interested in this movie. There's definitely some promise for people that like these kind of movies. And no, I'm not talking about the hub. I mean these kind of like weird movies. <laughs> I still can't wrap my head around that this movie is about a kid wanting to sleep with a teacher. It seems like every movie is the reverse of that. I think there is no way that they would actually make the movie where they do hook up. I think of how things are now especially, it would be crossing a line and the actors wouldn't want to be involved with it. So I don't think that they actually do hook up, like I think it's basically 100% a fact that they don't hook up. If you are hearing this. I appreciate you making it to the end of the video. I will love you for life.